It's like everyone has to hold their breath. The world has to stand still. And then Boo will eat his food. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Hello, Boo. It's March 1st. It's about 11 a.m. Let me show you what Boo is looking at. There are three geese outside. These are the first geese of the season. March 1st, first geese of the season. I'm trying to remember if uh, last year was earlier than this. I think last year I saw the first geese in February. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Um, but usually when I see geese, Boo's hitting the camera. Usually when I see geese, it, usually, Boo, usually when I see geese, it means spring is very close. We're only about 20 days away from spring. It's 12.25 p.m. and I'm defrosting about 10 pounds of frozen quail. And I also have a container of chicken hearts and chicken livers. This is about one pound container. Once this all defrosts, then I will be making some raw food for the cats later. I don't need it to totally defrost, just enough so that all of the birds can be separated and put through the grinder.
It is about 9.15 a.m. right now, and this is some ant bait. This is the Tarot Liquid Ant Bait. I put this down last night before I went to bed. Um, I came downstairs um, to just make sure all the lights are off and everything's cleaned up, and I saw some ants on the food plates where I fed the cats dinner. So, um... It's really early for ants right now. It's like beginning of March, March 2nd as I film this. So I don't know where these are coming from. I'm assuming maybe there's a nest in the foundation of the house or in the wall or something. So I put out the ant bait, which is what you see on the plate, and they're all drinking it. And what they will do is they will take that back to their nest and it will kill the ants off. And that's the only way to get rid of them. Um, I've tried all kinds of natural remedies in the past and they don't kill off the ants. They might keep them away for a short amount of time, but the ants continue to multiply. Um, and I found that this ant bait is the only thing that really, really works to get rid of them. So what it does is it attracts the ants, which you can see here, all those ants on that plate, they're all having a feast. And the ants come and they, they eat their fill of this ant bait or they drink it and then they take it back to their nest and then it does its its work and it kills off the colony. So it's not pleasant to look at right now, um, but hopefully um, within a day or two, the majority of the ants will be gone. If not, all the ants will be gone. I'm just about to give the cats their breakfast. For breakfast today, they're having the brand new homemade raw food, which is 100% quail, except for the uh, hearts and liver, which are chicken. I hope they like this. So one of the reasons why I wanted to try this is because quails are smaller birds and they would be more biologically similar to the birds that the cats would eat outside if they were to hunt birds they would hunt smaller birds um, instead of like a whole chicken so i always put two little bench and field treats on top of their food which simba's eating now i'm surprised stella walked away from her food usually she doesn't splash will whenever he is confronted with something new he'll walk away from it um and boo's sitting on the steps so i'll, I'll move his over there simba really enjoyed his food he ate almost all of it Stilda did not want to eat her food. I had to put some crunchies on it, like a crunchy bribe. Once I did that, then she started eating it. And Simba came over and he started eating with her, but then uh, he went over to Splash's food. Here's Simba eating Splash's food. So I'm gonna move this away, because Simba, you already had yours. Here's Splash. He needs to eat his food, but it's something new. And this is what he does. So I'm gonna have to put this aside. And then what's gonna happen later is he's gonna come meowing at me. That's what he does. He meows at me, meows at me, meows at me. Then I have to give him his food, then he'll eat it later. This is what's going on with Boo. I've given him two crunchy bribes and he wants to eat upstairs. And the problem is that the phone rang while I was giving the cats their food. And it didn't just ring a few times. It just kept ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing. And Boo is the kind of cat where if every condition is not just perfectly right for him, he's not gonna eat. So that's why he did not eat because he was interrupted by the phone ringing. And here's Simba and Simba says he has no problem eating while phones are ringing and he'll be happy to eat Boo's food if Boo does not want to eat it. Boo is very similar to Splash in that sometimes Boo does not want to eat right away. Sometimes he'll walk away from his food, but then if I give it to him in a few hours, then he'll eat it. Like Boo wants to eat on his terms when he wants to eat. And the problem is I have cats here like Simba, Stella, and Splash that will eat Boo's food if he doesn't eat it. So if you only have one cat and they don't eat, it's fine. You just leave the food out. They'll go back and they'll eat it. If you have two cats, sometimes that's fine also, but sometimes the other cat will eat the food. When you have four cats, if one of the cats does not eat their food, it is guaranteed that one of the other cats will eat their food. So now here's Boo. He is actually starting to eat his food. Question is, is he only gonna eat the crunchies or will he eat the food that's underneath it? They should like this food. Boo loves quail. 
He has eaten entire quails. I gave him a whole quail once. He ate the entire thing, crunched through all the bones. So we know he likes quail. See what's going on here? So I went downstairs for like one minute to try to give Splash his food and to try to entice Splash to eat, I opened the crunchy jar and I put a few crunchies on it. Well, Boo heard me and he went running downstairs to try to get some crunchies, but I said, this is Splash's food. And in the time that took for me to come back upstairs, Simba was already starting to eat Boo's food. Boo, eat your food. There he goes, now he's eating it again. It's like everyone has to hold their breath, the world has to stand still, and then Boo will eat his food. It's 10.45. And I just opened the back door and I saw this. So I've had this round thermometer hung up on the side of the garage for several years now. And I'm able to just look out the back door and see what the temperature is. And it looks like the wind knocked it off the wall. So that's pretty crazy. Um, it is in several pieces. I do have a new one here that I bought a few weeks ago. I just have not been able to hang it up because it does not fit on the same hook. So I'm gonna have to uh, figure out how I'm gonna be able to hang this up outside. It looks like the temperatures outside have gotten below freezing again because whatever liquid was on this plate has completely frozen. There's Boo. The Hydrox is right outside and there's Ditto. It's still very windy today. We had very strong winds last night and we're supposed to have very strong winds all day today until the afternoon, until late in the afternoon. So it's not fun. Um, I'm going to put some food on a plate for Hydrax and Ditto. And then I have that really, there's this really heavy chair that I have right there. And I'm going to give them the food on a really big plate so I could put part of the plate underneath the leg of the chair, so that'll keep it from being blown away. Hydrax just rubbed up against the door. Boo's not too happy about Hydrax and Ditto. So since Ditto and Hydrax have been eating off of the same plate together, I took a large paper platter and I put both of their food on the platter and then I kind of put it in two portions as you see. And Hydrax went straight over to eat it. I don't know if they ate out of the feeder this morning, if they had a bunch of dry food, um, or what. This morning or last night, Simba and Splash got themselves into a box of packing peanuts. So I received a, an order of something that I ordered through the mail and it arrived and they pack it with uh, these packing peanuts. And Simba and Splash have been having a good time with them. Hydrox ate all the food that was on the plate, so I'm gonna put some more food on it. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrells video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.